Hello everyone, welcome to Nord University Short Lectures. My name is Azad Marden, I am the founder and the lead instructor at Nord University. In this short lecture, I want to explain you very, very common error that a lot of you will be getting when you are doing web development. This is this error, the one that you would see in the console log. It would say something like request is not allowed or the particular URL, the particular domain is not allowed due to access control origin, is not allowed by access control allow origin or something like that depending on your browser. So this error comes from a special security which is built into most of the modern web browsers. A lot of the modern web browsers, they would not allow to make requests to a URL or a domain which is different from the one that is currently being run. So for example, if you are developing for a local host and if you're trying to access google.com or you're trying to access facebook.com by using XHR, which is Ajax, by using the front-end JavaScript, by using the browser JavaScript, you're trying to access a different domain, you would get that error. Access is not allowed to that origin by that policy. You have three main options. Option number one, you can disable that security feature. It will work for your particular browser, but guess what? For all other browsers, it's not gonna work. So when you are deploying your application, you would have to deploy them on the same domain. And of course, it's not going to work if you're trying to access, if you're still going to access Facebook or Google, because most likely you don't work at those companies, you would not be able to deploy to their domains, to their servers. So you, you would basically left with the last two options. The th second option is to allow the course, which is cross-origin resource sharing, allow those special headers in the server. So you would have to modify the server. This is easy to do when you control the server, but again, in the case of when you're trying to access APIs of a third-party applications, again, you are out of luck. So disabling that policy on the browser is not going to help you. Modifying the server, you cannot do that. And the last option you are left with is to do the JSONP. What is JSONP? JSONP stands for JSON with a prefix. Basically, when you are having a script tag, that script tag is an exception. It's it allowed to load resources from separate domains. So you cannot use Ajax, which is XHR request, but you can use the script tag. So JSONP is a workaround. So basically you put some small JavaScript code, which will dynamically create that script element tag, which will point to a file on a separate domain. That file will be a JavaScript, it will be loaded. And in that JavaScript, basically you have a function and that function is what you would need to implement. You would need to implement this callback. Libraries such as jQuery and Axios, they already do it all automatically for you. But the server needs to provide the JSONP protocol. The server needs to provide the JSONP protocol. Most of them they do, but not all of them. I know for sure Twitter has JSONP API. Not all of the servers they do implement the JSONP. So that's it. You are left out of options how to access APIs on from the front end to the back end. So the front end is very limited. Another problem and another limitation is all the source code is available to everyone. So you cannot hide any secrets for OAuth. We've talked about OAuth in some other episodes of this Node.js short lectures, Node University podcast. So go ahead and refresh your knowledge on OAuth tokens if you are not sure what I'm talking about. But basically at this stage when you exhausted all three options how to access and how to access api especially third-party apis at this stage you would need to introduce your own server and what is the best tool the best tool would be node.js of course because it's also javascript so you're already working on the front end so you can use the same skills, the same knowledge of JavaScript to build a small Node.js server. 
all it will do basically it's going to work like a proxy your front-end application will be sending requests to your json uh, to your node.js object using json uh, the node.js will be sending back the data and on the node.js side you can make all kinds of requests so that's the best part about node.js you can also skip secret your passwords your api keys all the sensitive information will be kept secret because it's a server side it's not exposed to the public it's not the front end and there is no course limitation so when you're working with node.js there is no course courses only in the browsers in node.js you can make any type of requests and uh, you can use the same libraries you can use super agent you can use request you can use axios there's even fetch library which works very similar to the browser fetch api it's called node-fetch so that's it for this short lecture you have three options just a quick summary first option is to basically turn off the security policy on their browser i do not recommend doing that because that's a good security restriction you don't want to compromise and be attacked from other malicious websites even on your local browsers and obviously you cannot force all your users users of your future applications to uh, turn off this policy option number two allow is to uh, implement the course headers and uh, responses in the server and then uh, option number three to either implement JSONP or consume JSONP if it's available. And then the last option, if all of those three are not going to work for your front end, the last option, the last resort, which will always work, is to implement your own back end. It could be just a small express server, just a tiny, tiny little bit of proxy, but you can make all sorts of requests from that small, tiny node server. That's why I love Node.js and that's why you should listen and subscribe to this series of short lectures from Node University podcast. Thank you for listening and I'll see you in the next episode.